the media, the premier, the MECs, uh, the head of departments, the CEO and the clinicians. We are here at Universitas Hospital and we are here meeting the uh, COVID-19 task team, uh, which is uh, going to give us a sense of their level of readiness. And I'm going uh, to introduce on my left, we've got uh, Dr. Uh, Samantha Potchiter, who's the infectious disease specialist in the, ho in the hospital. And of course, on my right, we've got uh, Dr. Pierce. Uh, they'll be the first ones to tell us how ready are they for in the hospital. So we'll start, uh, Dr. Uh, 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 Potchiter, please, uh, if you could start, and then uh, we'll come back to Dr. Pierce. Thank you, Mr. Minister. So we've um, been working over the last few weeks to ready our hospital for um, COVID-19 and for what we expect. Um, uh, so far, we've, um, uh, we've got a number of beds ready. We've freed up about 70 ward beds. Um, this includes areas where we'll be able to isolate patients who are under investigation until we've confirmed that they're either COVID positive or not. So we'll be able to protect patients um, during this period. After that, they'll be moved to a different ward, which will be COVID positive patients. Um, in that ward, we've got pediatric facilities. Um, uh, we've made facilities for, um, uh, for the occasion that we should have a, a maternity case there. So we've got a set aside delivery room with a full neonatal um, uh, uh, facility as well for the, for the uh, event that a baby should be born to a COVID positive mother. Um, uh, we've also set up um, uh, uh, our ICUs already in waiting. As you can see, we're here in, the, in one of the COVID ICUs. We've created, out of our previous eight bed um, ICU, we've created 16 beds. Um, Dr. Pierce will tell you about some of our plans to extend this. Um, uh, we've also got um, uh, uh, the capacity now that we've sort of got the protocol for the wards to extend our, our ward capacity to, to way beyond this. Good evening. My name is Dr. Nicholas Pierce. I'm head here of surgery, but as well as the chairperson of the task team. We have, over the last few weeks, as Dr. Potkis alluded to, made our hospital ready. We've got amazing innovative ideas within our hospital environment. The minister has just given approval for us to make access of the military has offered a special PEEP machines that will be able to ventilate or offer PEEP, which is a sort of advanced care to 70 more patients here, increasing our ICU capacity immediately from 16 to 86 patients which is an amazing step in the right direction. This is under the leadership of Professor Francis Smith from the Cardiothoracics Department.